Hey everybody, this is Polish Pete and this is Just Landed. We just got a few cool smallmouth baits in and we got a little expansion in Strike King spinner baits. So first we'll start off with these two cool smallmouth baits since we've been seeing all these big giant smallmouth being caught everywhere. Uh, first off is the Strike King KVD 200 jerk bait. And if you heard what just happened there, the weight transfer just clicked over. So this actually, this little small compact jerk bait has a decent little weight transfer system in it here. So that's gonna allow you to still throw such a light small jerk bait on a bait caster if you still want to. Or if you're a spinning rod guy with a jerk bait, you can launch this thing. So I, it's kind of looked down upon by hardcore anglers that you shouldn't fish a jerk bait with a spinning rod. Nonsense. Some of the best jerk bait fishermen I know fishing with a spinning rod, and this would be a killer jerk bait for a spinning rod. But if you're not a spinning rod guy with a jerk bait, this thing will still cast, even still being a lighter weight jerk bait, and it's going to have killer action. I can tell you from personal experience, was kind of a jerk bait snob, still am kind of a jerk bait snob, and that KVD 300 deep jerk bait, I watched put some a beat down on some giant smallmouth out on one of the big lakes. So uh, it's, this is a killer a series of jerk baits designed by one of the jerk bait masters of the world, Kevin Van Dam, and this little 200 edition is going to be a killer smallmouth jerk bait and even just a finesse jerk bait for spotted bass and largemouth things of that nature as well. Check that one out on the site now. Next up is the Duo Realis Spin Bait G Fix. This is the G Fix 80. So you might be asking yourself, spy bait, spin baits, they've been around forever. What's the difference? That looks exactly like all the other spy baits on the market right now. And Duo being the king of them and the originator of it, uh, this one was designed specifically for bait casters. Most spy baits require you throwing them on light line with a spinning rod to get distance out of them because you want these things to sink down to the price. You need to cast past the fish you're targeting with a spy bait. And you want it to sink down in the water column in a very slow retrieve back to the boat. So if you're not getting distance out of your spy bait, you're not fishing it effectively. So this one has been increased. I think the weight was increased like 30 or 40% over the other ones. So you can get away with throwing it on a bait caster. I caution you to make sure you're using a rod that's really soft because you're using treble hooks on these it's an easy way to lose a fish you don't have that drag of that spinning rod to really fight that fish so if you're going to try if you want to try it on a bait caster if your confidence lies in a bait caster get yourself a soft rod some line that's really forgiving like a stretchier fluorocarbon uh, or a monofilament line and go try out a spy bait on a bait caster or you don't need to use an eight foot spinning rod anymore. You can use a regular spinning rod if you don't want to buy a spy bait rod and you can launch this thing a mile with your spinning rod. All right, next up is the three new spinner bait additions from Striking. This one here is the Tour Grade Night Spinner Bait. So this thing is going to have a massive Colorado blade on it, thumping big commotion in the water because you are trying to attract fish in a low light situation at night. They absolutely crush a spinner bait that has a lot of water movement. You know, it's, it's moving a ton of water, that big blade loping around in there at, at night. You can burn them under the surface and create almost a big wake. That's the most effective way I've ever done it at nighttime fishing with it. Or you can slow roll it under the surface and it's making a ton of commotion down there as well. So check out the night spinner bait for all you night anglers. Next up is the bottom dweller. Uh, you can, the name says it all on this one. Uh, Strike King made it simple. If you want to fish a spinner bait real deep, this is your spinner bait. It's got a keeled head design that's really heavy and designed to get down there to the depths. The biggest thing about it is the custom blades that Strike King has made for these. I think they're called the razor blades. These things are really thin. They have very little resistance. They don't want to lift the bait up high in the water column. They actually will help you keep it down and keep that bottom contact so you can keep the uh, spinner bait just above the surface or just above the bottom or drag it along the bottom if you want. So if you want to get a spinner bait down there in the depths, maybe if you're a ledge angler, if you're up here in Minnesota and you want to get it down below all the pike in the lake, this is your spinner bait for you. Next up is the Baby Burner. So this one here is a spinner bait that's compact but designed to still be burned. Now this may not make a lot of sense, but a lot of people believe that when the bite gets really tough, actually speeding up and getting that reaction bite is actually better than slowing down and being a finesse angler. I honestly think they're a horse apiece. You play it to your strength. If you have a really hard time like this guy, sitting still and soaking a bait, not moving it around at all, speeding up and trying to get those fish to react could be a huge key. 
this little baby burner here has that compact package that's not overwhelming for a you know, keeper size fish or even a big aggressive fish that's not in the mood to eat a meal, but it could piss them off when you burn it by their face really fast. So kudos to Strike King for thinking about us anglers that don't always catch them all the time and helping us figure out a way to get a bite on a tough day. So check out the baby burner. All this stuff's on the site right now. Go check it out and go catch them.